hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time visiting welcome and please not forget to subscribe below now today's look i'll be doing a cut crease blue makeup look so to see how i got this look you need to keep on watching all right so back to the tutorial i'll be using my eyeshadow by classic i'm taking the light shade there to apply underneath my concealer so i'm blending it very well gently so i can have that dry effect okay so it will look too wet but funny enough when i applied it it was looking kind of dark i don't know why probably because i used the brush to apply um, a darker color earlier so I didn't really brush it out so now after blending the white shade on my brow area I'm applying the blue color from the palette and trust me this eyeshadow blends in properly and it's very affordable so you can go get yours it's a classic small um, eyeshadow palette so as I'm applying it to my crease, I'm trying to blend it to my brow bone area where I place the lighter shade of the um, eyeshadow on my brow bone area. So I'm trying to add in more amount so it can look more detailed than it looks right now. So gently, gently, gently I'm applying the amount on the crease continuously trying to blend out because blending is key now to the other side of the crease i'm actually applying as well and don't forget you need to blend it up to your um, brow bone area where i applied the concealer now i'm taking my lap pride um concealer palette so i'm taking from the palette i have the primer there so i'm using my flat brush try to look for a flat brush that can help you create the curve you want so gently create a line trace it downwards and fill in okay you can actually make use of your concealer but if you're working with concealers try to go for the one that looks a lot thicker i believe the ones that are quite thicker works better than when it's too liquid so apply it cut the crease real well, like Taking the lines gently, which I don't find it hard or difficult to make both of them look alike. But just take your time, try to create the cuts completely. Like over here, I'm trying to make it look like the other. So just for you to create the cut there and fill in, and you're good to go. Now, taking from my big classic eyeshadow palette i'm using the light color there which is the white and i'm applying it on my tear duct area and on top of my primer and one thing about the the white color on the palette i tried to make it pop out but it wasn't really coming out well so i had to coat it about two to three times so if you have a palette that really pops up more you can use that it's a choice so i'll be going over with my bh cosmetics i'm taking the um, matte green eyeshadow and i'm blending it up to my crease on my primer and at the end of it i'll be taking the blue the same blue i applied on, as my transitional color i'll be applying it at the end part so everything just blends in okay so mind you you need to blend out your eyeshadow so you don't have any harsh lines
now I'm applying my primer by classic it's a very nice um, primer for the face um, I also make use of um, milk of magnesia but currently I heard um, it's not good for the face this is something about the pH level there about so I'll be using it once in a while so on this tutorial I'm using my primer by classic and as you can see I've rubbed it all over my face now I'm going in with my beauty blender a damp beauty blender you need to make sure your beauty blender is wet or damp but not too wet now I'm applying my foundation by Hannah Mac foundation it's a very nice product you should try and come in touch with it okay so now I'm blending 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 one thing about makeup is all about blending and um, if you don't blend your foundation well when you apply your powder or your contour it won't really come out smooth on your face you start seeing harsh lines which is not nice so you need to blend out everything make sure it's all in place underneath my eyes the circles the dark circles so as you can see now I'm applying my pro concealer by Ellie Girl I'm taking the light shade um, this shade is by Kiss Beauty so I can't remember the color but I'm applying it because Kiss, Kiss Beauty doesn't come with um, names they come with numbers alright so you can get other shades like Fawn and Cotan and the rest so going with my damp blender I'm blending out the pro concealer gently 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 you just want to blend in gently and avoid any harsh lines okay now there are various ways to contour your face and i'll be i'll be showing you that on my other videos I've, i haven't had time to record but from now on i'll try to create time to do that so all right now going in with my contour this shade is by espresso so you can get other shades if you are dark skin than me you will need to go for shades like dark cocoa okay so I'm using this shade by espresso gently I'm drawing a thin line on my nose area and not something when you make your lines so white that's how your nose is going to turn out so if you want them to be quite slim you have to draw the lines to be exactly like mine or even more than okay so I applied the contour on the side of my cheek on the side of my forehead and on my nose so I'm trying to blend that out usually I like blending out my nose first in case I have excess amount I'll be able to blend that out on the other areas where I didn't apply enough Yeah, so using my Ben 9 setting powder, one of my favorite powder. So I'm applying it with um, a shaped foam. You can get yours. It's quite affordable. You can get it anywhere. So I'm using it to apply on the highlighted part of my face. Note that the highlighted part of my face, meaning the part where it's very light, because most persons do not understand the difference between highlight and contour. The contour is the dark shade and the highlight is a light one so try to apply them on the little part of your face and underneath you notice where I made a line under my um, underneath the lines where I haven't placed anything that's because I'll, I'll, I'll be filling up my powder contour there so keep watching to see how it goes
adesso I'll be using my lipstick by Classic Okay, I just want um, a dark lippy for this tutorial but at the end of the video after recording I actually did an ombre lip by adding the pink at the middle so you can do that to yours if you want because I actually feel that was better it was looking very very beautiful so um yeah this is the end of the tutorial and I hope you gained at least even if not much a little and um, please don't forget to subscribe below if you don't subscribe and if you have any questions please do that in the comment section if you have any looks you want me to work on anything you're contouring brows or anything do let me know on the comment section so at the end of the tutorial I have to use my setting spray which is by NYX so you can get any product as far as it's original and it's cool Alright, so thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe.